there everybody, this is Krista and welcome back to Crochet Witch Tarot and we're by my altar space. That can only mean one thing. We're rearranging today. So I just got a new shelf or I should say my sister picked up for me a new shelf <laughs> off of Facebook Marketplace while I was visiting and here she is. <laughs> It's one of those, um, I think it's meant to display teacups, like collectible teacups. Um, I've been wanting a display shelf like this for a while, but they usually sell for quite a bit of money. So this one popped up near my sister right in time for when I was visiting. For really cheap, <laughs> basically. So, what I'm thinking is I really would like it to go above my altar space here so I could kind of use it as a dual display and storage type thing. But that obviously means having to take all of this stuff down, which is kind of daunting. So I'm moving the lit candle. <laughs> a bit daunting, so I'm bringing you all along with me <laughs> so I can feel like I'm chatting to someone whilst I do it. Um, yeah, so I think this should be fun. Hopefully it's slightly entertaining. I don't know, but I just feel like we're hanging out now. <laughs> I need to dismantle everything. Even I'm going to end up taking probably everything off this table as well, just in case I have to hammer. Um, I don't want to be knocking stuff over because I've done that before. It's not a good time. I've got many breakables on here. Eek. My favorite challenge is seeing how little I could actually take off before just lifting it up. It's a real dangerous game I like to play. <laughs> Not my best kind of game. I didn't say it was my best game. <laughs> but it's one I play every time. Okay, okay. Let's, let's not do that. Let's not do it that way. Let's actually... Take a second. Okay. All right. Yeah, carefully. Alrighty. This might be, uh, I don't know. This is going to be a process. This is today's project. So it might be happening throughout different parts of the day. We'll have to see where this adventure takes us. But the other thing I'm feeling, I'm, Every once in a while, I do like to just kind of completely reset like I'm doing right now, even if I'm not adding anything new, just cause, I don't know, it starts to feel cluttered every once in a while. Cause I kind of just add stuff randomly and the space gets full and sometimes it's just nice to rearrange a little bit, reset it. And I've kind of been feeling in need of that anyway. So this is a good excuse. Ooh, cat whisker. I need to put that in the right place. Does anyone else, if you are a cat owner, do you um, collect the whiskers you find? Because <laughs> I do. I've got a jar going. Let's see if I can. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Let's see, what have my thoughts been lately? Oh, I have been watching, um, I drove to New Jersey this weekend and whilst driving, I listened really to a lot of YouTube, which I highly recommend. It really does make the time pass. Not watching, obviously, that is not safe, but I will, um, listen to people's videos, uh, mostly tarot tags, because I find that I wouldn't want to watch a walkthrough of a deck or something, because obviously you kind of have to pay attention to see what's going on, but I find with the tarot tags, um, those are fun to listen to, because a lot of the times when a deck is mentioned, I can kind of think of what it looks like in my brain. And then I just like hearing people's thoughts. All this to say, 
I listened to quite a few VRs to different tags. Um, one of those being standout decks of 2022, and I think that's such a fun concept. I don't know if I'm going to end up, I probably won't end up doing a full dedicated video response to that. I don't really know why. I'm kind of feeling like just talking about it now. And if I talk about it now, then, you know, that covers it, right? <laughs> but I do think it's a, it's a really fun idea and it kind of, I don't know. It got me thinking about the decks that I have brought in in 2022 and sometimes it's hard for me to remember what year I brought things in. <laughs> Um, especially since I have found lately that I am doing quite a bit of repurchasing, which I think is interesting. And mostly, actually, I think pretty much all the repurchasing I'm doing is, are decks that I got in like my first maybe 10, no, I'm going to even say five decks that basically I managed to pick <laughs> all of the decks that I feel like just are not good for beginners. So at the time they really confused me. So I ended up passing them along to friends and such. But now I find myself revisiting them and really, really, like they're becoming fast favorites. Look at this little gnome my mom got me. Isn't he so cute? Um, so I think that's something interesting to note, but that to say is, I don't know where that counts, counts, because it's not my first rodeo with these ones, so are they stand out of 2022? I suppose, because that's when I started, like, really working with them. I don't know. See, these are the thoughts I have <laughs> that just makes it hard in my own brain for no reason. I do love this shelf. I plan to go other places with these. Um, I don't know where, but yeah, I do really like this shelf and I want it to go somewhere. Anywho, my standout decks of 2022. I feel like the one that immediately comes to my brain is definitely the Forest of Enchantment. I know that was 2022 because I purchased that when Paul and I had COVID, which was in late January or early February, one of those. And I think that was the first deck I brought in in 2022. But that is definitely a notable one. That is for sure a top favorite deck currently. I also have found, <laughs> we're going all over the place today, so I hope, <laughs> I hope that's all right. Um, these are just my, whoa, whoa. I gotta stop walking across the room. These are my uncut thoughts. I mean, I always have my uncut thoughts, I suppose, but uncut thoughts without a plan. That's a dangerous game to play. Um, anyway, Force of Enchantment. That made me think how I feel like my favorites are really shifting. Like decks I really consider favorites. And that's kind of like a, I don't know, it's a cool thing, but in some ways it's almost a little bit, I don't, I don't know what, how to describe it, sad or scary, I don't know. I think it's because decks that I like for so, so long considered real top favorites, I don't know if I consider them that anymore. Which I think is the cool thing, I suppose, about trying so many tarot decks is that that can happen but in a way i don't know it makes me a little sad 
this was a random tangent I went on. This, all that to say is that, because, oh, I was saying Force of Enchantment because that one I really think has quite the top spa right now. I really love that deck. So that is for sure a standout of 2022. We're gonna see. Okay, so we got this stuff off the wall. What do we think? Okay, I think I'm gonna have to put for sure some screws in the wall, but I do think that would be pretty cool, right? I want to make sure I still have some space underneath it, so maybe even a little bit, oops, higher. I think that could work. I don't know. I actually, yeah, I think I like this height. Yeah, alrighty, cool. So, I think the next step then is to put some screws in, which I will not make you suffer through that noise, and then I'll be back. And I'll keep talking about, maybe, if I remember, the stand-up decks of 2022 now that I only have one. Let's see. Let's think of another before I go do that. I have such horrible memory. Hmm. What came in in 2022 that is stand out? Oh, my Celtic, Celtic Spirit Oracle? Is that what it's called? For sure. That's a standout of 2022. Love that one. Gosh, yeah, other than that, I've got a horrible memory. Anyway, I'm going to put some screws into this wall, and I will be back when this is hopefully up there. Hopefully that's what you see next. Well, would you look at that? <laughs> I really done did it. Now I am going through. I like to use lemon and mint cleaner. Just It's just what I have. Um... But I like to use this specifically for cleansing anything around my altar space just because lemon and mint is very purifying and protective. So that's what I like to do there. This would have 100% been easier if I had just done it uh, while it was still off the wall, but here we are. That's okay. doesn't need to be perfect. It was pretty clean before. All right. Now we set it back up. <laughs> this is, this could take some time because <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing here. I do really like the pictures I had up. I think, oh, you can't even see that. Oh, well. I just kind of have to think of what do I want to go back and then, like there's more stuff now that could fit here i'm kind of thinking i had that tray of the skulls my animal skulls and such i think that would these would look really cool on this shelf though don't you think we gotta put the little sitting gnome somewhere of course he can go right there oh cute so now now we just play I got this calcite skull from my friend Aaron's shop, Little Shop of Light and Love. How cool is that? I think I've shown that actually, but you know, it is what it is. I have no plan for this whatsoever. We're just gonna see where <laughs> this adventure goes. Actually, I feel like this should be down here. I think this is gonna look really, really cool though. And I like how much storage I'm able to have. Got lots of feathers and such. Hello, Stevie, you wanna say hi? <laughs> say hello. I know, I'm cramping your style. The only thing that I think I will be missing is I had a lot of hooks that I was drying some herbs and plants on. 
So that's something I'm going to need to think about a little bit, but not a huge deal. I can just put some hook, like, uh, nails on the wall on this side, or if I, I don't know if I have any other hooks I could just move. I don't know. That'll, that I'll have to think about. I think I should just, just keep going, just placing things though. I have my little monster pop Funkos. <laughs> I love these little guys. They gotta sit together. Maybe they'll go up here. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And I've got my Bulbasaur. Now I also wanted though to store some of my dried herbs here, but I don't really, you know, I don't really have to do that though because I do have, they fit in this cabinet under here. So maybe, you know, that'll be a secondary, secondary thing if I feel like I want to do that. We've got this little sitting fairy. Oh boy, oh boy. I have this painting Sandy made for me. I really should frame it, actually. Frame it and hang it somewhere, but I do like how that looks right here. I like keeping it by my altar space. Oh, another standout deck from 2022 is for sure the Song of the Grandmother's Oracle. That one really stole the show in many ways for me this year. It's just one of those, I feel like it do, it combines all the things I've been wanting to combine. I got this extra card from Heart of Fairy. I like putting up one of the Oak, Ash, and Thorn extra cards. Well, I don't know about that one. We're gonna definitely put this up though because I like the fairy. I think it's coming together. Very cool. I have this holly string thing that I had on a hook, but, oh, I do have one right here. Okay, we could do that. Cause I like keeping this by my altar space as a little protection of sorts. But I think for my dried herbs, what I might need to do is put some hooks here. Because I do like, I do really like having them. <sighs> is that the solution? It might be. I could put them here for now though, instead of the holly. I think that might make some more sense. This random screw in the wall. Yeah, all right, that looks cool. Now what other things do I have that I can just place around? My goal is to make this more of a usable space. So that way I can have all the trinkets and such that I want to be a part of my altar here. So then I can kind of have some more space to do card pulls if I want, or anything of that sort, really. I think that could work out really well for me. Right? I think so. I think that'll be cool. I'm gonna move. I think we're gonna move. This up here by my little skunk skull. Yeah, that's cute. I love these, like any sort of extra cards people give. I love that because I could use them as little decorations and it's just fun. This is cool. This 
is what, you, oh my gosh, this is looking really cool. I'll get a better shot when I have it a bit more set up, but I love this hummingbird bell I found. <sighs> okay, I kind of piled stuff onto this space that I feel like I should uh, also take off so I can get my bearings on what I still have going on. More little gnomes. I think they could go here. Very cute. Very cute. I've got my mushrooms. Actually, I'm going to put a mushroom over there. I think. I've got a uh, seasonal altar now going on the other side of the room. I've been really enjoying having that as well. Just to kind of break it up a little bit. I think this is looking really cool though. What do you think? <laughs> oh. oh. I'm trying to simultaneously think of standout decks from 2022. Oh my gosh, the Adventure Time Tarot. Total standout as well. I was so excited about that one. Um. The Death Doula is very new to me, but I think already has a spot there. That one is really, really just, I don't know. I just really enjoy that one. It's very different. I feel like there's not anything else that kind of fits in the same category as it. It just, I don't know, it's a really, really good oracle. If you haven't checked that one out, I highly recommend. It's very good. All right, we're going to clear these off so we can keep going here. any sort of, I already said that, but any extras. It's just fun. This has this really interesting groove in the back of the shelves that's letting me kind of display pictures, which is really awesome. I did not know that was there. just a super odd video. I really had no plan for this. <laughs> just that I figured it'd be easier for me to talk this through. I don't know. Who's to say? I think those can stay out. Ooh, I know what I can put up there. There's like a little screw up there, but I've got this four leaf clover and bind rune that Sandy made for me. Oh, am I gonna be able to reach? Ooh, got it. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, I wanna get the clover up there too though. Awesome. Yeah, that's cool. That looks cool. I need to remember there's space up top too. I think I'm gonna put this bird statue I have on up here. Yeah, oh yeah, that's perfect. This is gonna be really cool. I'm excited to have more of, again, like I said, a usable space. Let's move all these drill pieces over here. The only thing now is that I do have quite a lot of wall decor that has no home. 
I probably should have figured that out before I started putting stuff on here because I probably can re-put some items back on this wall. Not many though, actually. It's a lot of shelves. I think I'm going to have to... I don't know. There's no rush. I could put them to the side for now and decide later. I think I'm just going to get used to having this here and then we'll go from there. I think that's a good way to go about things. Sometimes I tend to rush myself into making things look perfect right now. And I need to remember that we don't have to do that. It's okay if it just exists in a little bit of limbo <laughs> in the meantime. So let's wipe down this space now because it is dirty. I would love to know what all of your standout decks of 2022 are. And do you have the same issue as me where you just don't remember? I know there's some people who like uh, keep a spreadsheet and like put down when and where they got their decks and such. I just don't think that's ever gonna be me though. That's a lot of organization. <laughs> I don't really have that in me. Although it would make some things easier if I did. <laughs> Let's see if I can just put what do we think? Can I put a nail on the wall just by sheer force? By sheer force, I mean just sticking it somewhere where there already is a gaping hole. <laughs> There's a lot of holes in this wall. There used to be, uh, or the bookshelves used to extend into over here. So... Okay, that's in there. I'm not gonna hang anything that's not st sturdy, but I just wanna hang like dried stuff, so it'll it'll work. Probably, maybe. But if it falls, it's not a big deal. Ooh. All right, we can get one thing on there. <laughs> I guess we could just put it on the corners, right? Is that gonna stay? No. No, no, no. It'll stay up there. Okay, that works. Oh, rosemary smells so good. Woo! That's not gonna stay. We will hang you on here. There we go. Also got this orange. I dried a bunch of orange slices last week. Pretty! Oh, that looks cool. All right, I feel like right now this is looking empty. I don't even really know what I want to put back though. This is really gonna be the question, the questions of the day. So I've got my mat. This is the one I'm using for winter. I've got all these birds and snowflakes. I really like that. So let's put the mat down for now. And see what else I want to put here. I've also got this tray. This wooden tray I think could be interesting. Hmm. How do I feel about this? I think I might like that actually. Candle. I really like that actually. The question is if I want to put back this little shelf, this round one. I don't know if that's really gonna fit anymore though. And I don't know if I really want it there. I think I kind of might like it to be a bit more simple right now. Yeah, I think that's what I'm feeling. 
I'm sure I'll be switching it up again soon enough, but... I do think I'm liking this for now. And then anything I don't put up, I can just, like I said, put away for now. I do love this round shelf, but I'm kind of liking, I, I'm been in the mood to have things a bit more pared down, which is not my usual way of, of things, but that's just, I don't know, that's just what it's been. So let's see what else I want to add here. Oh, I've got my little Jasper cat. I do love my little cat. We could put, I feel, I could definitely fill more stuff in up here too. Got my oils I made. This is a really cool shelf. I am very excited by this, if you couldn't tell already. <laughs> With my incessant talking about just how cool it is. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I think my next thing, I don't mean in regards to the shelf, my next thing I want to do is start filming my deck collection videos. Does anyone else just get so excited for this time of year knowing that people are going to put out their deck collections? I just love those videos so much. I think they're so much fun. And I've never... I've done them, but not in the way of like, it's January, let's update our Colleen Open the collection video. And I would really like to do that, I think. I just need to think about how I want to do it. I think the plan might be, because I don't want to do a whole big video, I want to break it up into, I think, maybe four? I think that would be a bit more manageable. I think the plan is to do maybe like a video for indie oracle decks, a video for indie tarot decks, and then do mass market of the same. I think that could really end up working out for me. Um, I just need to really go through and look at my decks and see if that makes sense really like if there's just for some reason way more in one category than the other but I don't think I think it's pretty even actually I'm not positive on that but I'm I kind of am feeling like it is so I think that might be the method I am really liking how this is turning out the one thing I really want to have on the wall still though, is my magician painting I got myself for my birthday from an artist that lives near my sister. She paints on just like objects she finds. So this is an old painter's palette and I just really love it. So I think it could be cool up at the top, but then I've got to move my bind rune and such, which that could be okay. We're going to put that there. You know what, I kind of think that's what I want to do, is have this What do we think? Oh, you can't see! Let's raise it up. <laughs> what do we think? I think I like that there. I think that works. That works for me. <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a chaotic video. I hope, again, that this, to you all, also just feels like <laughs> we're just hanging out. Alright, I think I'm going to stick another 
Do I have any more nails that are just free? I think I could put one in. Because I want these on the wall for sure. These things Sandy made. Okay. Let's go right there. Beautiful. Perfect. I think this might be... Oh, there's Stevie on her little perch. I think this might be all I want to put out for now. I think everything else I might just sort of... put away for now and think about it if I want to just stick it somewhere else on the wall or what but I think this is actually looking the way I would like it oh I do like this bird painting though that could be cool somewhere here but I don't really want to drill into the wall with this all up so I think that is a later me thing to do I guess we could put it up here though Yeah, all right, I like that. Anyways, thank you all for hanging out with me while I did this. <laughs> Some body doubling action, because uh, I was kind of, as excited as I was, it was a bit daunting to totally switch everything out. Now I need to, I need to clean up my mess I made. But, I should see you all very soon for another video. I don't know if it's the, gonna be the, collection videos quite yet, but those will be soon, which I'm very excited to do. But anyway, I hope you're all having a wonderful beginning to your week and I will see you very soon.